you guys, it's Jeremy Buendia. I wanna welcome you guys to my 2017 off season. Come on inside. All right, so you guys know how much I love passive cardio. I always do passive cardio, but however, in my off season, instead of going to the gym completely empty, I like to do a protein shake when I first wake up before I head to the gym. This way my body has something in it and it's not gonna be burning any leftover muscle mass that I have. So uh, we're gonna start our morning off with a, a scoop of ice jet. I'll probably do a scoop and a half right now. Just to get some protein in my body. About 40 grams to start the day. I'm just gonna get this down real quick before I take my other supplements before my cardio. Just a little bit of water. I just chug this back real quick. So what I suggest is, in a, is a way I slip protein. Very high quality, it's got digestive enzymes in it. So that's 40 grams down the hatch for right off the bat this morning. When I'm in contest prep mode, I go to the gym with the empty stomach. So we're trying to grow right now. Moving on to the next project. So we also just came out with our new powdered fat burner. It's our Lipicide IR. Actually, my open one is in the refrigerator. This is my morning cocktail right here. Lipicide IR, Carnagen, and Amino Jet. So these three, I, I drink during my cardio. I'm gonna take these two right now. I'm gonna mix them into a shot and just toss it back real quick. And I'm gonna mix, mix my Amino Jet in about 24 ounces of water and sip that throughout my workout. This life inside IR is no joke, you guys. Like the moment you open it, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see it worse because like the powder it burns your nostrils, it burns your eyes a little bit, it can make you cough. So I'm gonna pour out three ounces of water in there. I'm gonna do one scoop. This fat burner gets you going. Like I'm gonna be, you're gonna see how much more focus I have in like ten minutes. You know, it's a very strong thermogenesis, so it's gonna make you sweat. Carnagen, it's our carnitine. There's four different types of carnitine in this one right here. There's four different types of carnitine in our carnagen. This is gonna help also with thermogenesis. It's also gonna help convert fat to energy. It's really gonna make you sweat as well. So I'm gonna do a scoop, of, like one heaping scoop of that. One bodybuilder scoop. Mix that in there. And you got the camera guy coughing. Have you tried this yet, Sam? Yeah. Good stuff, you guys. I'm obsessed with it, so let's toss this one back. It burns your throat a little when it goes down. There's some black pepper extract in here. You're gonna taste that little bit, the peppery taste, but you're gonna a little kick in the back of your throat. Personally, I like it. Last but not least, we gotta make sure we're holding on to our muscles during our cardio. So it's very important to get your BCAs in. That's our amino jet right here. It's very good, especially if you're sore the next day. Glutamine's gonna help your body recover a lot quicker. So I've been really sore from all the different exercises I've been doing. I'll show you guys today the type of stuff I've been doing. And you're gonna be able to tell why I'm sore because I'm using a lot of muscles I haven't used in a long time. Let's shake this up and let's get on the road. You guys all know I used to be an athlete. I was a football player, baseball player, wrestled. You know, I did a little boxing, I did a little bit of everything. So when I got into bodybuilding, you know, my functional training kind of went out the window. And this is the year that's really caught up to me. I'm excited because my body is gonna start changing. I'm gonna get more of the athletic look that I used to have. And um, I'm really excited to see what happens. So, I usually go to 24 hour and do my cardio and morning stretches, but uh, we're shooting today. 24 hour usually isn't pretty cool with us filming over there. So fortunately we got an awesome little gym at our apartment complex here in Costa Mesa. Um, so we're gonna walk over there. It's a little rainy right now, but it was coming down really bad yesterday. So I'm just grateful it's not coming down like that. It's too damn cold for Orange County. <laughs> we didn't move out here for this weather. It's been raining like all month too. The first year that I lived here, I think it rained like two days. And this whole month, it's been like raining every single day. 
We need it, but you see how bad the flooding was in Huntington Beach yesterday. We were driving and it was literally, the water was probably like two feet off the ground. Cars were pulling over off to the side. Come on in, you guys. So this is, our, this is our recreational center at our complex. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. The gym is upstairs, but they got like a, like a spin studio right here. They have like yoga classes and Pilates and stuff like that. You guys come on over here, check this one out. We got our, in, our rock climbing wall, which I still haven't utilized. I know you did it the other day, didn't you? Yeah, not too long ago. I think me and uh, Sam are gonna have to have a, a climb off soon. It's a good one. This guy looks, this guy looks like a pro. All right, so let's go, uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs and check it out. wrapped up my morning cardio to about 15 minutes here on the treadmill walking on an incline I threw a little bit of jogging in for a few minutes um, jogging kind of hurts because I got my knee problems right now I got some bad feet but um, today they're feeling pretty good we're gonna move on to our, our dynamic dynamic and active stretching right now Stretching sucks, it's boring. I'm only 26, you guys. It finally caught up with me. My body started taking a turn for the worse, and now I gotta go back to the building blocks, and it feels like I'm trying to learn how to walk all over again, you guys. Like, it's really taken a lot of time and patience to get through these last few weeks, and you know, fortunately, now it's becoming more of a routine for myself. That's it, you guys. Those are my morning stretches, my morning warm-up. I'm gonna go back home, get a meal in me, get on the computer, do a little bit of work, and then we're headed to the gym. All right, guys, we just finished up breakfast. I got my cardio and stretching out of the way. Usually what I do after I eat is um, I get back on the computer, start going through some emails, catch up on work, catch up with my clients. And as you can see, I have my Compax Electric Sim Therapy on me right now on the trap area. Um, we're gonna be going and training a little bit, so I'm gonna be doing my warm up this way. What this is doing is sending electrical impulses in the, into the muscle. And what that's gonna do is help cause the contractions and increase blood flow, oxygen, and nutrient delivery to the muscle, which, in which is gonna help the muscle heal up quicker. What I'm trying to do is release this muscle so that signal can get through to the rear, rear deltoid so I can have contraction again. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes on me. I'm gonna check up on some of my emails and uh, then we'll switch it up to a different part of the body. So I just got some stuff in from my marketing team. Okay, it looks pretty good. I saw a couple grammar errors in there, so you know, I'll send this back to them to fix. But the past year I've really just been focusing on, you know, improving my brand and putting a lot more high quality stuff. So I brought in a, few, a couple different marketing teams to, to work with me and as you can see the content they're putting out. You know, this is what I've been trying to do the last few years and now I got the right team behind me. We put out a lot of high quality content. Oh good, my therapist is actually gonna come to the gym with us. He's gonna watch me work out. We've been having a lot of issues with my training, so he's gonna come and basically be able to analyze which muscles are firing, which ones are, aren't firing, and how we can you know, relieve them during my training session so I can activate the right muscle. So I'm excited to have him come out. I'm gonna see what time he can make it right now. And um, this is the first time he's coming out. It's gonna be really important for him to be there. He got a jet over to YMCA. All right, we're about to take off to the gym. I'm mixing up my intro workout. What I did was a, a one heaving scoop of Selkim, which is my BCAs, glutamine, electrolytes, arginine, and uh, creatine. And I also did two scoops of glycogen, which is about 50 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates to help keep my muscle bellies full during my workout. So it's all in here. I'm gonna sip on this during the workout. I'll take my pre-workout in the car, which is gonna be EVP Plus, and we're gonna go smash a workout. So let's get on the road. Traffic sucks, man. Okay. 
For those of you guys who haven't met Henry yet, this is Henry. Yes. He is my sports massage therapist. Right there is the most painful spot. Ooh. Notice I also felt my rear deltoid, which I thought was my rear deltoid acting up when I was doing this. But we found out when he reached across, it was actually in my, the top of my tricep insertion. And I've been having a lot of problems with my triceps. Like I haven't not been able to get a contraction at all down here or anywhere. And it's because it's all locked up back here and back of my shoulder. So, back down. Straight to the traps. Huh? Straight to the traps. Check your roots and then make it scapular. That's my iPhone neck. Huh? That's my iPhone neck. That's what the problem is. It's, a new, it's gonna be a disease. We have more issues than that then. It'll be a disease in the next 10 years, watch. Left trap. I'm feeling my delts, but the traps won't take over. Honey thinks it might be a micro tear. That's what I'm thinking. Well, so, you didn't tell me that five years ago you got hurt. Hey, I was at 455 bench press. It's on my Facebook if you want to watch it. <laughs> uh -oh. it, was, it, was, it was pretty ugly. No problem. Well, guys, we just got home, just finished my workout. We're gonna go to my post-workout meal. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize my glycoject post-workout for the fast-acting carbohydrates to give me a great insulin spike. So I'm gonna do 25 grams worth of that. And I'm also gonna do my aminoject post-workout. This is BCAs and glutamine to help recovery. Do one scoop of that. The only reason I'm doing 25 grams of carbohydrates with this instead of doing like 75 total is I'm going to do a meal right now as well with this. And what that's going to do is the glyco is going to give me an insulin spike to help me drive the other nutrients into the muscle for faster recovery. So if you guys come on over here, check this out. My off season eating is a little bit different than contest prep. I have a pot roast in here. This is a very lean round roast and I got some um, celery, potatoes, onions, and carrots. That's been cooking for like 12 hours in the, in the crock pot. So as you guys can see, this is gonna be my meal post-workout. It's probably about 10 ounces of meat here. And you know, eyeball on it, probably about 50 grams of carbohydrates from potatoes and carrots. So um, I'm gonna get this meal down right now. And uh, my cousin's actually got the fight on Bellator on Spike TV, this is his pro debut. So I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna watch this fight, enjoy it, and um, enjoy the rest of our day.